right, here we are next day. <clears throat> Got the, uh, gonna, gonna unbox everything. You know, I kind of went on a rant yesterday about how it came. Just to, uh, you know, obviously I've calmed down more, but, um, so just to show you, just to show you what, what I was talking about. Okay. You see this distance? So I, they said get the long, the pallet with extended forks and you can see why. Because look how long this thing is. This thing is, you know, I don't know. 172 inches so I tried so anyway I tried to stick they took it off the pallet this is supposed to be on a, under here there's supposed to be a pallet where you put the forks well they took it at the warehouse or whatever they took it off the shipping company and so I had to try and stick my stick the forks in there well the, the extended forks are fatter and they don't even fit in here even pushing this thing out of the way which I probably scratched it up. So if there's scratches on this, it's probably me. But uh, I couldn't, you know, I just couldn't fit it in. So, um, why was I telling you that? So anyway, and you can see where they did that. Whatever, that's on the bottom. Um, so what we ended up doing was I took straps, like car toe straps, attached them from the, here the forklift was, the gate of the forklift was here, and uh, what I did is I took over here, and I, uh, it's so hard with this camera, I attached them there and I cranked them down 10,000 pounds of pressure on both sides, and because we tried using the forklift underneath, on that, on that side, to, I don't know, don't even get me into it. I'm just going to get upset. Because the guy got me, the guy, the driver just wanted to make the delivery. He got me to slide it back to the lift gate and then lower it down while he lifted the lift gate down. Saying, oh yeah, well you can go around the back side and you can get it from that side. I, I knew in my gut that was a bad idea, but I listened to him because I just wanted to be done with it. On, that's on me, but I knew it was stupid. So... What happened was when we put the when we put the forklifts in there, there was nothing to hold them, and all the weight is on the other side anyway. Even with a five thousand pound forklift, it didn't lift it. It wouldn't lift it. So here's what we did. I told the guy you could just leave because I was so mad. I just said you could just leave. And so what we did was I found two logs on our property because I wasn't prepared for this. And we put the logs under here on this side, as far to the side as we could, same thing on the other side, so that I could get the forklift underneath here, like fully under the bottom of it. Got the forklift underneath, and then I, I wrapped the forklift around so that it couldn't go sideways, because when we tried the forklift on that side, it just ended up the weight shifts and then the forks come out the other side because there's, there's nothing holding it. You can see there's nothing. It's just empty. So I, I torqued down and strapped down the forklift to this piece and strapped this piece to the forklift that way. So in essence, it was like a fork, even though it was uh, toe straps. And that was able to get it in here. And then right now, just because I didn't want to set it down on the epoxy floor because I saw what it did to the concrete on the street, uh, I just put it on some wood blocks. And because I didn't like it, it's not that stable, I put it on a jack just in case if it started to fall, it wouldn't fall over all the way. So now we're going to unbox it <clears throat> and see what's inside. Let me put this here. I can't. Well, I'll show you what I'm, I'll show you as soon as I'm finished. 